the kingdom of Persia, the four categories of demons the believer must bring down, when we had left the three prison of Satan in space, where sinful people are, then we arrived before an unknown land, when we had entered this land, I saw houses, when I look again I saw all kind of mirrors, all kind of binocular and all kind of camera, I saw photo of men and women posted on the wall of this kingdom, I saw statues of people and I saw mask, when you live and sin demon will build a statue representing you. The angels of the Lord told me, what you see is one of the realm of the world of Lucifer, just one of them, where he come up with instrument, device and strategy against the church, all these mirror, camera and binocular belong to him, these are instrument he used in order to film God people. He photographed God children all over the world and monitor them with these binocular, God people are under surveillance, these people here that you see here using these monitoring instrument are demons, the devil assigned them here to film and photograph God children. These are monitoring spirit of surveillance, they are ignoring us because of Jesus Christ, they know they are powerless before us, but if anyone come here illegally he will never leave, he will go to captivity. They monitor God people thanks to mirror, camera and these binocular. The angels of the Lord told me, more often these wicked spirit film and photograph God children when they are committing sin, and they post their picture on the wall, tell God children whatever they do on earth is being filmed because they are under surveillance and monitoring, whenever they commit sin and do evil they are being photographed, they are filmed and monitored and their pictures of sinful action are posted on the wall of the satanic world. Then the devil send them the demons of control to monitor them properly, and when people are about to bless them, demon of control will keep Lucifer informed, all their aspiration and ambition will be monitor and they will be barrier and blockade. The angel told me, when your photo is in the world of Satan and when you are monitor the devil will put a mask on your face, beside building your statue, and this mask will disqualify the believer from blessing, it put away anything good that is to come on your way. The marriage will fall because of the mask of Satan, your fiancé will see an ugly face instead of your beautiful face, when you go to look for work the devil will put a mask on your face, you will not be employee, tell the church that people are living in sin they have statue in the world of Satan, the Lord angels told me, warn God people, for Lucifer has deployed four giant demon in the life of every child of God, in order to fight them and control them. These are the spirit of Pharaoh, the spirit of Goliath, the spirit of Herod, and the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of Pharaoh responsibility is to take you to captivity and maintain your life in prison and servitude. These wicked spirit of Pharaoh control all demon that are taking humanity to captivity in the three prison of space because of sin. The Bible say, I have indeed seen the affliction of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their oppressors and I am aware of their sufferings. I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, brother the spirit of Pharaoh must be crushed and paralyzed, for God has not called us to servitude but freedom, the second giant demon in the lives of the believers is the spirit of Goliath, the spirit of Goliath is the spirit of fear, intimidation and death, Goliath the Philistine champion from Gath came out of the Philistine ranks to face the forces of Israel. He was over nine feet tall and wore a bronze helmet, he carried a bronze javelin on his shoulder and the shaft of his spear was as heavy, and thick as a weaver's beam tipped with an iron spearhead that weighed fifteen pounds, Goliath stood and shouted a taunt across to the Israelites. I am the Philistine champion, but you are only the servants of Saul. Choose one man to come down here and fight me. If he kills me then we will be your slaves. But if I kill him you will be our slaves. I defy the armies of Israel today. Send me a man who will fight me. When Saul and the Israelites heard this they were terrified and deeply shaken but David persisted. I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turns on me. I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I'll do it to this pagan Philistine, too, for he has defied the armies of the living God. 
The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine. Goliath roared at David, You come at me with a stick. And he cursed David by the names of his gods, Come over here and I'll give your flesh to the birds and wild animals. Goliath yelled. David replied to the Philistine, You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied, today the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you and cut off your head. And then I will give the dead bodies of your men to the birds and wild animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. Goliath is the spirit of fear intimidation and death but David did not fear, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, every child of God must bring down the spirit of fear, which is the spirit of Goliath, the third giant demon that opposed the believer is the, the spirit of King Herod, brother, the spirit of Herod is the spirit of blockade that will fight to stop your star and blessing, for you have a star that is to shine, Herod was told the child would become a king because of his star, brother the enemy will fight to kill you because of your star, whenever something good is your way he will try to stop it, whoever promise you something good they will manipulate his heart to harden it. The Magi have informed King Herod that they had seen portents showing the birth of the King of the Jews. When Herod saw that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was filled with rage. Sending orders initiating a murder of all the infants in Bethlehem in an attempt to get rid of the child that is to be king. He put to death all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, the spirit of Jezebel will oppose your marriage and the marital life, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh, this is the institution Jezebel seek to destroy, unless you pray you will be dominated by these four type of demons, you must pray a lot and don't give place to the devil, brothers and sisters. I pray a lot because the devil is looking for me, because of secret that I am revealing, I don't pray 20 or 30 minutes, I pray for minimum 3 hours, I prefer the suffering of my body in order to benefit from the presence of the Lord, we were in this world of Satan when suddenly I began to see a photo of a believer dissolving to dust, I saw his mask, statue and camera being destroyed, the angel told me, the believer that was illustrated in this statue is humbles himself in prayer, he has confessed his sin and he is in humiliation before the Lord, that is why the photo of his sinful act are torn apart, the mask that the devil has placed on his face is destroy, and the camera and binocular through which he was filmed and monitored are destroy, these are the result of prayers that can destroy the works of darkness, do not underestimate the power of prayer and intercession, don't slacken in prayer because it is power, when you call fire there is destruction in the unseen world, the devil does not sleep and does not slacken, his time is finished therefore you should not tire of prayer, you must be determined, you must always rise when you fall, pray days and night, seize opportunity of prayer, the angels told me in order to overcome this kingdom don't go to bed with sin, make sure to confess your sin as quick as possible.